That update also new here at four. If you've driven certain parts of I-35, you've no doubt seen these signs. They are marred by graffiti, have been for a while now, for nearly five months or so. KCTV5's Ashley Arnold joins us live now with when we can expect to see these replaced and what KDOT is doing to try to prevent it from happening again. Ashley? Yes, Carolyn, you know, as you look behind, you can still see the graffiti very bright on the signs for Southwest Boulevard and 7th Street Trafficway and Rainbow Boulevard. Within the next couple of weeks, possibly as soon as next week, that's when those signs could be replaced. And that's incredibly good news, considering it's been an eyesore for drivers since March. The safety impacts of it, you know, involve everyone. And now, after months of waiting and scheduling, things can move forward to replace highway signs tagged with graffiti. Replacing the signs themselves will cost around $3,000 each, $2,000 for the signs and an additional $1,000 for a new anti-graffiti covering so they can be cleaned in the future without damaging the signs. But Welke says it doesn't just cost money, it also takes time, and not just for the people doing the work. So there's the cost of replacing the signs, there's the additional cost of having a contractor come and hang those signs. Um, there's the cost to the traveling public, which is immense just because we have to put up the lane closures and inconvenience people. Now, it's going to be more than just uh, those, uh, the anti graffiti treatment that's going to be put onto those signs. It's as far as other ways they're trying to make sure people aren't able to get onto them, they're going to be taking down the ladders and the catwalks from all of the areas up there to ensure that people will not be able to get up there and do that graffiti. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Ashley Arnold, KCTV 5 News. Okay, that makes sense. Ashley, thank you for that. I was just saying, I wonder how they even get up there to do that. I get it now. All right, thank you for that update. We